Man, I think I'm gonna be getting some crazy ass muscular imbalances doing something like this. I have a backpack on with 10, no, 15 extra pounds, with 15 extra pounds in it, and I have the 30 pound weighted vest on me, all over one shoulder. I'm gonna be frigged up soon enough, man. Damn! Okay, SOS family, I know I upload this on a Saturday when I should have been uploading it on a Friday. Well, then again, people in Australia, I think you guys get my videos on Saturday. Like, if I say I'm uploading on Friday, you guys get on Saturday. But if I upload on Saturday, you guys get on Sunday. And, you know, the people in the UK get it five hours later. So, if I upload at, like, 8 o'clock on Friday, you guys are actually getting it at 1 o'clock in the morning on Saturday. Whatever. I'm just rambling on. But anyway, yes, as you guys can see, like, that first episode, the official episode for this episode was just like over 20 minutes like the editing was crazy I literally like had to edit 40 minutes worth of footage and like cut it all down it took me like over two to three hours for the first official for the official episode this one didn't take that much time but I think you guys will really enjoy this episode it was pretty fun and so far a lot of you guys are liking the uncut version than the official version but hey at least you guys are loving it you guys see this beautiful scenery right here? Look at this, a freaking empty bar park. See, this is like the equivalent to you guys going to the gym and seeing an empty squat rack or an empty uh, bench press table or whatever it's called. What is it called? Bench? A, a bench press bench? Whatever. It's like seeing an a empty gym. Imagine going to the gym and it's empty. This is what it feels like. And imagine that in this empty gym, you do not need to be spotted. So you don't need anybody there. You can do whatever the hell you want. Ah, oh, I love this. You see this exercise right here? This exercise is amazing for your back if you have the strength. Now after doing all those pull-ups, I couldn't do this anymore. I was burnt out. Usually when I used to train, I used to train a circuit. So I'll do five pull-ups, then I'll do five rows, and then I'll do five back extensions, and then I'll do five whatever else. But because I was doing five sets of pull-ups in a row first, and then going to the rows, yeah, I didn't have the energy. So I threw on the weighted vest, went to the easier type of rows, and the weighted vest got too heavy. So after two sets, I took it off, and I did some body weight reps, and I went up to like, what, 10 reps? 10, 12 reps, and I think I did a total of five sets of rows. I really want you guys to keep in mind too, I am not actually trying to count 10 reps. Like for example, I will never ever try to bulk by just doing bodyweight rows like this. This is too easy, I could do about 15 to 20 of these just bodyweight starting off. But because I start off with the weights and I take it off, after doing like, let's say this is my fourth set, I think this is my fourth set. This actually becomes difficult when doing body weight, so therefore I actually fail between 5 to 12 reps. You guys get my point? So I'm basically always trying to reach failure between 5 to 12 reps. And once I start reaching failure at 5, I begin to drop the weight. And if I'm doing body weight and I reach failure at 5, I just stop the exercise. Because then I start failing at 4 and 3 and that's, that's just pointless. Hey, looking whole already? See that plump chest right there? Look at them abs. This is why I'm not training abs. They're so freaking thick already. There's no point in training them. But I really want to get my biceps and my triceps and my delts to grow. My torso is pretty solid if you ask me. Also, I really want you guys to notice how I'm doing the rows and how I was doing the pull-ups. I'm using an overhand grip to really focus on my back and take a lot of the stress off of my biceps. Because last time I did that, Man, my biceps were so sore, it basically felt like a bicep workout. But my back did get some work in too. Okay, so as you guys can see, I got this bag right here with 15 extra pounds. I'm going to up the weight so I can do some, so I can do some bent over rows. I hope you guys can see it properly. Hold on, let me fix the camera. Flip this, yeah. Yeah, you, can, you guys can see me. Okay, so right now this weighted vest has 30 pounds in it. 15 right here. I just brought some extra weight just in case I needed it. Man, this workout has been pretty intense so far, I can't lie. So just take these weights, slip it into these pockets. And I'm gonna do some heavy ass bent over rows because I can't really handle my body weight right now, it's too hard. So I gotta take the easy way out and use weights. 
use external weights. And basically I'm gonna do bent over rows and shrugs, like or upright rows as you guys see. Or I should do shrugs and upright rows. You guys think I should do that? So I'll do shrugs and upright rows. And oh yeah, I'll even do some bicep curls. But I'll probably have to lower the weight because I'll be pretty tired. But the thing is, is I wonder if I should even do bicep curls because last time I trained, I didn't do bicep curls and my arms felt like they were going to die. So I'll think about it. But this is how you train with calisthenics or calisthenics equipment. This weighted vest was made for calisthenics, not for the gym. It was made for real G's only, bosses. So I started doing some rows for the holes like Chris Jones, and honestly guys, this felt amazing for my back, especially after doing all those calisthenics exercises, because after having that tension in my back, I felt like I was able to have a better mind-muscle connection. I was basically using my elbows, and not my biceps, but like using my elbows to really drive the, the weight to my stomach. I want to let you guys in on this now because you guys are the SOS family. I always like to let you guys know how the channel is doing. So basically, ever since I started bodybuilding with calisthenics, it's like people were like, Yo, Simon, take my money! You're bulking? You're finally bulking? Yo, I'm subscribing, I'm subbing, oh, I'm gonna rate the like button. Like, a lot of people have been subscribing to this channel ever since I started the bulk, I'm just like, damn, it's like the entire fitness community was just waiting, like, yo, when is this guy gonna bulk? Like, you know what? Yo, I'm not subscribing to this guy until he starts bulking. I started bulking, man, the views have been coming in, like, I've been getting over 3,000 views in a day when I upload these episodes, man, I've been getting a lot of subscribers, the channel's been growing, the SOS family is growing, so, like, I just wanted to let you guys in on that, like, I feel like this series is gonna become something big in the future. Think about it, guys. Last Saturday, seven days ago, I hit 6,000 subscribers. This Saturday, I have almost 6,200. That's nearly 200 subscribers in one week. Ever since I started this, that is ridiculous. So I thank you guys so much. I put so much work into this, like you guys don't even understand. I really try to provide the best content. So when I see stuff like this, it just really makes me feel good. Man, guys, this workout is intense, bro. See, usually I try to do calisthenics first because that's the hardest thing, and then I go to weights. Because if I go to weights, there's no way I can do calisthenics. No way, right? So basically, I burn out with calisthenics, but of course I'm not gonna end the workout there because I really wanna try to fatigue the muscles. So I throw on, throw on some weights or I start doing some weighted exercises with the weighted vest. And yo, it's pretty intense. My biceps are feeling it again. My back takes a while to act. Like, my back never gets as sore as my arms, put it that way. It never gets as sore as my arms. But yeah, guys, I'm enjoying this. Okay, let's get real intimate right here. Real intimate. So I'm about to do some upright rows. And I might do some, I might do some, uh, I'm so flustered right now, doing all this hard ass calisthenics slash weighted vest workouts. Or it's, it's really killing my brain right now. But anyway, I might do some bicep curls. Uh, what else do you guys think I should do? I was going to do some one-arm pull-ups, but I was like, nah, my biceps can't handle that right now. I know this is pretty uncomfortable, right? Let me back up, let me back up. Back the fuck up! Okay. So yeah, I was gonna do some one-arm pull-ups, right? Get it in, get it in, get hole ready. But I said, nah, my biceps are still pretty fatigued. And you know what? I want to try something new with the, with the way it rolls. I mean the, yo, I don't know what's up with me right now. Every time I work out, I just can't talk properly, I'm tired. Or my, my brain is like moving at a thousand miles per hour. Anyway, uh, yeah. I don't know what I was. I don't know what I was saying. Okay, to the workout. Notice how my right shoulder is lower than my left shoulder, and it's funny. I couldn't even see it like that, but I was feeling the pain in my right shoulder. And after the fifth rep, right here, I was like, "Oh shit!" So I just stopped. Okay, guys. I'm not doing no upright rolls for today. Because for some reason it feels like a, I'm about to snap my right shoulder up. It wasn't feeling it wasn't feeling right still. And you know what's so funny? I swear that that upright row people keep saying don't do that. You're gonna F your shoulder up. I can't lie, this time I was feeling it. 
it wasn't feeling like a, a pain where it's like I'm getting that pump. It felt like a pain where it's like if you keep doing this, you're gonna die. So yeah, I don't feel like dying right now. Not today. Looks like all the kids came out, so I don't think I could. You know what? The workout's done anyway. I can't train with all of them here, man. It's not. It's gonna be too tedious. I'm pretty much done anyway. Can't do the full workout anymore. I'm too tired. You see, a lot of you guys have been asking me like, yo, where's all the kids at the kiddie park? Hey! Are really inside? Right? Hey, like, no. All the kids. I love you guys! 